So what's up guys, another video, no mind the spinning circle. Um, SF has been like nerfed, kind of nerfed-ish, whatever. So the uh, skill has been changed that it's it's more doable. You don't get the two turn stun like on your ass all the time and that kind of stuff. So that's a bit better. But there's also a couple of units that are buffed. The Vampire Lord is gonna gain an additional turn on his third skill right now. So he can go third skill into second skill, however, from what I've heard from people, he goes third skill into fourth skill, first skill, and then it doesn't do anything as well. But yeah, then we have the Kung Fu Girls. Kung Fu Girls second skill will do um, the beneficial block now as well, which is pretty nice. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this one. I have Faye. It will also work for the Wind one. I actually have to check what the name is for on the Wind one. And then for the Lizard Man. Lizard Man, um, his second skill for the Fire one is beneficial block. And the third skill, when he gets hit, he will uh, give a beneficial block. So I think if you want to, if you have difficulty running this uh, dungeon, fire, uh, lizard man is your best friend. Like hands down, hundred percent, fire lizard man is your best friend if you have difficulties with running this dungeon because I think his uh, beneficial block is really consistent. And you just have to have the boss hit you once and then you apply that. Only thing is, if you bring a Lauren, then the passive won't work. However, on the second skill, he's still beneficial blocked. So it's just an insane good unit. And yes, I think you have to pair it with Lauren still because Lauren is just a really good unit for making this team, like this whole dungeon, safe as well. So why do I think that. Uh, um, let's go over. So why is the Kung Fu girl that good in my opinion? I think she's really good because of two reasons. One, it's the team up. Team up makes her go first skill, first skill is... Uh, um, first, yeah. first skill team up will give like a defense break for one turn, which is pretty nice. Activation rate is only 50%, but there's also a chance of activating Shadowless Kick with a 30% chance and therefore you will do the beneficial block. But besides just having the beneficial block, you probably also need a stripper. Pang is a good option, but she also strips on the same skill that she does the beneficial block on. As far as I've seen, her AI is pretty decent, but she is doing the third skill as most. Third skill, of course, it's insanely good if it works but it mostly will go random on like all units and that kind of stuff so it's not that great but still it can do like a lot of damage it can like boost your fastest stun. you could also use ling ling ah ling ling is the name so the wind dragon attack it's pretty much same like aoe spamming this thing and also blocking beneficial effects granted and an attack speed for two turns which is not that interesting because you probably run pang or lauren so it's kind of redundant but also 25% chance to counter so on counter they will also do the first skill which can roll into the second skill and therefore you have that so let's see a few runs um, I'm not necessarily saying that this is the best team to run with it I don't think so I think she's really strong with team ups this is a good option you could replace brick with zinc or anything like that you could replace crow with a second raw oak you could replace Crow with a Lauren to make it a lot safer. So these are your options. I think for most teams you want to have Pang, two uh, beneficial buff blockers. So if you add in Fei or Ling Ling, that's an option. You probably want to have Rogue in there. So this is my team. Uh, Brick is currently not skilled up maximum, but yeah, that would reduce one turn. That would help a lot. But didn't have that one yet, so let's see a few runs. Uh, my fastest team currently is 35 seconds. It's not on this team, it's on a similar team, but I'm pretty sure this team can do a 35 seconds as well. And that's why you see like the third skill. Third skill already killed two units straight off the bat, which is pretty nice. Also, this team has a lot of potential for armor breaking because there's four units on the team which skill one armor break. So team up from either Crow or Rogue is very likely to have an armor break which is pretty nice. So here she will do use her third skill. Okay, are we getting into a wonky situation here? 
Okay, we did a team up, but there was no roll into uh, the second skill. And there we go. And then she strips. So the strip was actually like really nice as well, like at that point. Also, you don't get stunned as much anymore because of the, um, uh, the, the nerf on the boss itself. And therefore, it's just a lot easier. You don't have to spam like a shit ton of will runes on this team anymore. Like I have double will on my crow, but that's uh, not for... That is mainly for giants. That is not for uh, this dungeon, actually. Because before I was not using crow in this dungeon. I started using crow in this dungeon because of the nerf of the boss, pretty much. Before I was using Lauren and um, the Kung Fu girl was replaced by Zink. So, yeah, I think like this, like, okay, that didn't kill anything there, which is kind of unfortunate, but... There's a lot of like team up potential, sure, there, the chance that she actually teams up and goes into second skill is not that big because it's only like a 30% chance to actually roll into the second skill. But I think it's it's pretty nice overall, okay, we are not landing the correct, we did do everything on that correct target right there. I think this is a fill, yes this is a fill. If Crow would have been a uh, Lauren then it would be a lot safer, so no, this team is not 100% as you can see here. Um, let me run it with Lauren. Let's let's. If you're wondering, like that, this is the team with Lauren. If you are wondering, what kind of runes am I running? So I'm running. Uh, she has a double blade fight set that's normally on Kali. I just transferred that over. I wanted to make her fast and yeah, move as one of the first. So she doesn't actually have to move as first, but it's just an option. Like second, going second is also pretty fine. So this team will be a lot safer. You have a lot more like attack bar reduces and that kind of stuff. So it will make it a lot easier. But the other team is fast. I was running the other team for a while and I didn't have that many fills, just a few. So I think if I have brick like max skill, it would be quite some better as well. If you're using a Gina already, then you could still uh, continue to use Gina. That's that's no problem whatsoever. If you still have like ma max skill, like Zinc, like it's not a must that these units are like replacing the other units you were using before. It's just another option. Like let's say if you don't have those, then you could use that. And what you could see here, like this, this worked out really nice because besides just putting a uh, beneficial block, she also stripped and. Comparing, for example, uh, Fei or Ling Ling to a Gina, Fei and Ling Ling are gonna do a lot more damage. They have skill one armor break, they have skill three beneficial block or a lot of damage. So they are also with the team up, like Gina on a team up is a wasted team up, right? So that's an issue as well. Um, and for example, in this team, you could technically go like, I think it's even possible to go like, Fey as single, um, would that be risky? Yeah, I th no, no, I think th I think that's too risky. I think you need, uh, let's say one like, like brick or zinc. You add in Fey, and then you could go like triple raw oak, double raw oak, Lauren, anything like that. So those are like pretty good options to, like double raw oak would work here as well. Pang is not necessarily that needed because Pang is mostly useful for reducing the shield and the um you know, mostly just the shield because the shield is on the boss and you have to remove that even if like the if your forest unit doesn't hit or the boss with beneficial block the beneficial block will be on that boss and therefore you have to fight like uh, like the not the shield but the well also the shield but the shield is not the biggest issue the defense buff is the biggest issue so you have lauren that can strip it but lauren is uh, she doesn't always have her second skill up, but then you have another unit that can also strip that. So because of that, uh, Pang is not necessarily needed. So I think if you want a safe team, that's pretty good as well. I would remove Pang for Ra'oak in this team probably, but this team, it runs really smooth. I think this dungeon, like by the nerf itself, is already like so much easier to run. Removing Lauren, as I've noticed, is still a little bit difficult, but... Like the thing is, if you don't bring uh, will runes, then the boss will get a turn and he will slow you. And the slow buff is pretty big actually, because then he started getting like quite some turns. But as you can see here, like sure, he's still stunning sometimes, but is that that much of an issue? It does seem that much of an issue in this run actually. Okay, maybe adding in will runes is still pretty, pretty good actually. 
Mm, not sure, not sure. Maybe having some will runes is still pretty good. I personally don't like to stack that much will runes on a PvE team. Like, I've seen some people that throw, like, well, like, across the five units, they have, like, 11 uh, will sets, and that's... Uh, I don't know, like, I also, I didn't farm that much Necro, so I don't really have that much will runes that makes sense to do that with. And I prefer to just throw Violent at some units as well, so Rogue is Violent. Um, Pang is Rage. Lorne is Triple Fight, it could be Will, but I, I like the fight sets. I like the fight sets, I like my fight sets. So, yeah, this is an option, zero will actually. So, let's see how this goes. Also, I think they upgraded AI. It could be me, but leave that in the comments if you think so as well. Try, try to run a few times. I feel like they upgraded AI. Like, I'm pretty sure these units, like, every time they can, they use third skill. Let, let me know in the comments if, if, if you agree with that. Like, give it a few test runs. Let me know because I'm not sure. But these runs, I'm, I'm liking... I'm liking Faye over Zinc. I'm, I'm keeping Faye and... I like Brick over Zinc because the skill 3 has like, um, it just does more than like the skill 2 of Zinc is better because that sets up for Rook to clear the wave like pretty easily. But skill 1 and skill 3 of Zinc, they get outclassed by Brick uh, skill 3 because it's just, it just does more armor break, that kind of stuff for team up also way better. I think Brick has been doing his skill 3 like every time possible so far. Like legit every time possible. And that's also like you can like counter into S1, into S2, you armor break, you strip and you beneficial block. And that's just why Fae can be so good. So if you have a Fae or if you have a Ling Ling or if you're having struggles with this dungeon, those are options you can work with and you can make these teams and i hope you learned a thing or two um i ha don't have a fire lizard man yet i'm not sure if i'm planning to make one to showcase that one maybe i will but that's like more free to play usage i would really recommend go for that fire lizard but then for like a team fire lizard fran um lauren and then Oak plus one damage dealer. That's probably your best team. Probably like Pang. So again, that's Fran, Lauren, Oak with the Lizard Man. And I think the Lizard Man can be a single beneficial blocker. And then you can add in a Pang as fifth. Because I think, like, because when he gets hit, he will do always the beneficial block for one turn. So therefore, you don't really need a second beneficial blocker. You just need Pang to extend that. So, in that case, I wouldn't go for like a second beneficial block. I would go just just the uh, fire lizard man, and that would be fine. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoy. If you did like this video, subscribe. Send it to your dog. Send it to your mom. Send it by email to someone you don't know, someone you do know. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see ya. And don't 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 spam people. By the way, don't, don't, I was joking. Just like it. That, that, that's enough. Like, like, can just share to someone. It's like, hey, you suck. You can use this, and you just tell them, like, get this thing, and like, do it, and then they they get better, and then win, and then, okay, are are, are we gonna lose this one? Are we gonna lose this one? Are we gonna lose this one? Shadowless kick is OP, man. I'm telling you, strip into beneficial block. This unit is actually way better than I give it credit for, almost. This unit is actually pretty legit. This team is pretty legit. Sure, it's not the fastest, but this is a team people can replicate. This is a team that's pretty nice. Yes. So, Seijisu here, and peace out.